in this video we're gonna be using shredded chicken freshly cut bell peppers green pepper yellow pepper onion and sausage with some frozen vegetables and the star of the moment leftover brown rice to make this beautiful meal that you can see on your screen <laughs> The first thing I like to do is add some soy sauce to my chicken, some bouillon cubes and then some Cameroon pepper. I like to add a lot of Cameroon pepper because I like my food spicy because it gives a kick to my food. Yeah, So I mix the chicken up into the spices and let it marinate for a bit. Then I add some butter into my non-stick pot. Non-stick pot guys because you'll be doing lots of stir frying and you want to ensure that all your ingredients have a free flow within themselves. So yeah, my butter is melting into some creamy yummy goodness. Then I add the chicken into the pot and let it fry for a bit. When the chicken is almost done, then I add the sausage because the sausage takes less amount of time to get cooked. After taking the chicken and the sausage out, I add 2 spoons of oil and then add the onion, garlic and ginger mix. And then after 2 minutes, I add the freshly cut pepper, that's the red, yellow and green bell pepper. I never feel to go extra spicy on my food so I add more Cameroon pepper and chili pepper in there and some seasoning and then fry for a bit. After 3 minutes, I then add the frozen vegetables in there, add some curry to it. I like to add the curry after I've added the frozen vegetable because it makes it just taste better. And then I add some oregano into my vegetable mix. So I let all this cook for about a minute and then I go ahead to add the rice into the mix and then I just mix it up come on now look at how rich this rice is looking when i first got this brown rice it was so boring to eat because i cooked it plainly and then i was like i can't manage this rice this way and so i thought to make this and it turned out so beautifully and trust me it even tastes better than it looks so i add the chicken into the rice and then the soy sauce and i mix them up all together i then Put up the gas and let it simmer for a second and our food is ready i'm sure you all are wondering when is she going to add salt i didn't add salt in this rice because soy sauce contains sodium and the salt we use normally when cooking one of the constituent ions in there is sodium so there's no need adding salt when i'm already using the soy sauce so our delicious fried brown rice is ready and so i dish it into a container so that's my coleslaw by the side with my rice yeah so that's how to make um fried rice from leftover rice <laughs> 